So I figured I'd post this video because everybody keeps asking um, what this is. Basically, this is a 400 crank shaft, and usually the journals, which are right here, you know, these the journals are going to be bigger, so they won't fit in this block. So what they do is they especially they custom grind these down to fit in this block. Um, the difference between the 350 cubic inch crank and the 400 crank is the throw from the center point to here it is larger or, or has a larger spin than uh, a th normal 350 crank so what it does is it puts the piston farther down into the hole and gives you that extra stroke um, in order to make a 350 block ready for it there has to be clearance for the the size of the counterweights if you look here you'll see that they've notched them out so that they fit without hitting anything. And then same down there in the piston. If you can see it down there in the piston hole, there's a little bit of clearance right there. Same thing applies here so, so that it can clear that area without any trouble. Um, same on the, this side. Uh, everything in the block is clearanced for the bigger, for the bigger stroke. Um, these engines are said to bring out 400, 450 horsepower right out of the box without any trouble at all. Um, which is kind of fun. Um, I put, I've elected to put studs in this instead of the bolts, which normally go in them. Um, studs just give you a, a better clamping force. If you search on YouTube, you'll find a million reasons to use them. Um, there are some things you have to do to the block to make sure that, it, that the, the studs are okay. But this block's been decked, clearanced, line board, um, and everything. Pistons are matched to every one of the cylinders. There's a whole bunch of stuff that has to be done to this block before it's it's done and ready for just to have this crankshaft put in it. But that kind of gives you the gist of what it is, is the stroke or the pistons move farther up and down in the cylinders. Um, so you've got to be careful of your camshaft because this thing swings so wide. If you get too too high of a lift cam check, they'll actually run into each other. So you've, there's a, a whole bunch of stuff you've got to be careful of when you build one of these. But when you build one of them, they are fun, fun, fun. Um, and you can get them as an engine kit from most of the builders. But that kind of gives you a, an explanation of the 383.